Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Shannon. We have eight children and our house is, it's anywhere from like 1,600 to 2,000 square feet. There's, um, when we moved in, every paperwork that we had had a different number on it, so we're really not sure. Um, how many square feet it is, but we do have four bedrooms and two bathrooms But the kids all live in two bedrooms So we've got eight children in two rooms and then we have one the master bedroom and then we have um, Our library office that we turn one of the bedrooms into so I thought that today I would give you a little tour of the kids rooms and show you how we have um, eight kids in two bedrooms. Okay, so this is our boys' room. As you can see, the beds in here are custom made. We did have two um, bunk beds in here that like took up, well, we had one big one, had a full on the bottom and a twin from, on the top. Mom, it took like um, out to here. Yeah, no, and it, it took more. It took from like here. Took from there to there. Yeah, it took up like this whole side of the room. Really took up a lot of space. Um, so we knew that at some point we would build bunk beds um, to make it more roomy in here, so that the kids would have more space in their room and we could fit more people. So my husband built these bunk beds um, with the mattress measurements. These two mattresses on this side are a lot squishier and soft than these ones. The ones. These ones over here on this side are hard to get in and out because they're so tight in there, um, but those two are really easy. Um, so he built these with um, two beds on the top and two beds on the bottom. He did put up these extra legs here, and as you can see, there are no ladders to get up to the top bunks. It's because the bigger boys didn't want the little boys to be able to climb up there. They can't. Um, yeah, they Kendon has figured out how to get up and there. And everybody else. And everybody else. But they um, it, they have to work at it. So no ladder to the top, so the big boys can just climb up there easily. And then we've got Coulter on this bed. This is his side. He's got his stuff up there. His turtle is right here. So that's his bed. He's 11. And then that's Crispin. He is 9. Are you 9? He's 8. He's going to be 9 in June. June 9th. I know. So this is Crispin's side of the bed. He's got his stuff up there. He's made himself a little shelf up there. I made it myself. Yep, he made it himself. And then he's also got this shelf down here that he keeps some stuff on. And he keeps his Legos under the bed. I don't know why he does that. I guess because they don't get spilled as easy down there. Um, and then this is Kendon's bed. Piled with blankets and pillows. <laughs> He likes his big blankets and his big pillow, um, but he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, so uh, mostly it just piles in there. Yeah, those he, are, those, these are his his buckets over here. Still in that one. Yeah, so still in that one. he doesn't have a lot of stuff over here, but he just piles himself in there wow. and goes to sleep in his and cozy then, pile. And then up here, <laughs> up here, I got cotton. Yeah, and then Crispin's got his salamander in his bucket here, and Colter's got his turtle. Okay, so this last bed eventually will be for Clayton. He's only 18 months old, so he's too little right now to sleep in it. Um, but we've got the sheet on to keep the mattress clean. As you can see, the sheet is, maybe you can't tell, but sheet's dirty because the kids play on there and bounce around. Um, but eventually this will be his bed that he will sleep in. Uh, but right now he sleeps in this pack and play. Um, the pack and play has... Is on top of this Hot Wheels table. The toys are underneath there. Uh, and I just put it up there because it takes up less space and he can't get out of it. So it's totally fine for him to sleep in there. Um, and he's safe up there. And then in this corner is in the closet. This is the closet. We took one door off. The other one stays open. This is the changing table and the baby's clothes and diapers and why. things. She, got, she kind of put it in the girl's room. He's a boy. And um, then just some storage up there. Um, so it's it's not the biggest bedroom in the world. Um, the boys keep their dressers, their clothes here. Crispin, or Kendon and Coulter, and then Crispin's got these buckets over here. So I'm sure it could be organized better. Um, a bigger dresser for them to keep their clothes in and stuff. But this is what we have. And so we were trying to not spend more money it's than needed. Fun. And they don't really care. They're totally happy with it like this. So. Are you happy with your room like this? You don't because care, do you? you got that 
Um, yeah, Coulter's got like, all his stuff. He's kind of the uh, junk junk collector, <laughs> aren't you? He's I kind of a keep, hoarder. I Kristen is too. Legos. They both have a lot of stuff, but I've they find them. places. Coulter made himself a little, that treasure chest there, and, and he keeps his box. stuff in it under his Mom, bed. I made me the box. Yep, and it's it's I can, really handy. Yeah, it I is handy to have it up out, there. Uh-huh. And then push it pulled it back in there and I can fit myself underneath there. Yep. With it like that flat. Yep. So and then under the bed we've got like this is a box of sheets and stuff and then some toys, um, a train set and the trios no, and no. Legos under there. And so. and the wood things. You build them. Build log cabins. Oh yeah, and the Lincoln logs are under there too. Yep. So this is the boys' room. Pretty little but it's um, organized and it they up. like it and they fit in here and they'll come in here and play and stuff. Be able to uh, they have a CD player so they come listen to their audio. So next I'm going to show you the girls' room and how we fit four girls into one bedroom. Uh, clean. Okay, hey, I'm going to show you the girls' room next. It is not clean. They did work on cleaning it, but it looks to me like somebody was in here playing and made a mess. Okay, so this is the girls' bedroom. There are four girls in this room. And again, they have um, the custom bunk beds that my husband built, um, just like in the boys' room, only they have a ladder up the middle of theirs. So we've got one girl here and one there, and then on the bottom. So this is Kaylee's bed. She's 14, and this curtain actually used to go all the way across, but it got ripped down. Um, and then she's got her little stand here. This is Carrington's bed. It actually started as Cadence's bed, but now Carrington sleeps up here. She's three, so this is her bed. Um, and then this shelf actually was the top of like a headboard of a twin size bed, and my husband cut the legs off and screwed it up to the wall there for them. And then this side is Kyla's bed, and she is seven. And this is Cadence's bed now, and she has a little dresser here, and um, she's five. No, she's six. Kinnan just turned five. She's six. And then, um, so when these were built, Kaylee slept here and Carrington slept here. Carrington liked to climb over to Kaylee's bed so that you can see there's kind of a, a wall in the middle there that my husband built um, to keep the bottom bunk separated. And then the girls do have a ladder to climb up to be able to get up to the top. Ta-da! Yeah. And I found a lot ladder so, can get up and I don't want them up on my on his bed or coming or Okay, so these are built um, out of two by fours. You can see they're not finished. They're not sanded. They're not painted. They're not anything. You can see the screws. Daddy said and I can paint my wall, and, and they can paint their walls, and, and I can blue, and, and I don't know what Kaylee's gonna. Oh well, we'll see. Um, and why I put this ladder there so we know what that like. This is how much Kaylee's gets, and this is how much I get. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so um, the, the wood is not finished, and I honestly don't care, and I don't think the girls care either. Um, it's just a lot of work to sand it all and paint it, and we're not going to do that. So uh, it'll just stay the way it is for now until someday we may decide we want to paint it. Um, so there are some hooks there, a mirror, big tall mirror. It's being held up by Cadence's dresser, so it can't tip over on anybody. And then this dresser here has Cadence's clothes and Kyla's clothes, and Kaylee has the two top drawers that she keeps her some of her clothes in. And then Kyla May has got all sorts of goodies on there. We've got more hangers. This is the girls' closet. In the top here is Kaylee's stuff and some toys. This is all where Kaylee keeps her books um, that she enjoys reading, and then she hangs her clothes over here, and her shoes are down there. And then this shelf is a big shelf from Ikea, and it has got, um, like, Carrington's clothes are in here. And then this is Kaylee's two shelves. The rest are just toys and dress-up clothes that, yeah, Minnie's got her tea set. So that's where the girls keep their clothes, and then there's another hook here that they keep their bags and stuff on. So that's it for the girls' room. Their room is the smallest bedroom in the house. Um, and it actually is really nice. We did have two bunk beds in here. We had one came clear to the door and over. And then we had another one from like there clear over to the window. 
and when we built these beds in here it just opened it up so nice oh um they have a lot more room in here to play and keep their things um so that is the girls' room so that is how we um, have our eight children in two bedrooms. We have the custom built bunk beds that are really simple um, that my husband made. Nothing Not fancy, really. but they um, work well for what we needed them for. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. Bye.